Hi, this is Usha. Welcome to Rathod Science Classes. Today in this lecture, we are going to discuss current affairs of 16th April 2022. So let's get started with our discussion and let us try to see today's quote. So today's quote is, you are a fighter. Look at everything you have overcome. Don't give up now. So as you all know, this UPSC preparation is a long journey. So you know that what you have achieved and what you have overcome in this journey. So in between, please don't give up. Okay. So now let us try to say first topic. It is regarding TB patients. So TB is nothing but tuberculosis. So tuberculosis it is a disease of respiratory, okay, respiratory tract. So what happened? Not only this respiratory organs are affected by this TB. But even other organs like eye, like kidney, they will be also affected because of this TB. So TB, it is mainly caused by mycobacterium tuberculosis, right? It is a bacteria which is mainly causing this TB. So if you ask me a question like, so whether treatment is available or not for this TB? Yes, of course, TB treatment is available. But we need to follow a long, long period that is at least six months of therapy that you have to take and this uh, treatment for this TB mainly includes antibiotics. So we will be having first line drugs, we will be having second line drugs. So based on the severity, we will be going for selecting of that antibiotics. So this article says that not only medicines are important, but even undernutrition which has an impact in reducing of this TB incidence. So here we are focusing on nutrition to treat this TB. So this article is important regarding your GS paper to under health. So actually TB is very important topic and even government of India which is mainly coming up, with, coming up with a number of programs to address this TB and to eliminate TB. So now let us try to see why it is in news. So first of all let us try to see the central theme. So if you see central theme it mainly says that without addressing undernutrition, the goals of reducing this incidence of TB and mortality in India cannot be reached. So whenever you want to go for reducing this incidence, that is reducing the case of this TB and as well as to decrease the mortality of this TB. So we need to also focus on nutrition. We need to provide proper nutrition for the patients. Then only we can reach our goal of reducing the number of cases of TB and even the mortality, that is deaths which are caused due to this TB. So if we're talking about introduction, so in past, there was a very much important belief that used to be present was every ill had a pill and the pill killed the germ that made you ill. So that germ could be bacteria, virus or parasite. So in past we had a belief that for every ill we will be having a pill. So when we are taking that pill means nothing but tablet. So this will be killing the germs which is causing the disease in our body. For example, we can talk about bacteria, virus, parasite, etc. So even in this disease, we also need to take into consideration like genetic and as well as metabolic causes, hormonal imbalances, neurochemical transmitters. So they are also important. But regarding this hormonal imbalance, genetic and metabolic causes, neurochemical transmitters, there is a very much knowledge, very much less knowledge that we are having regarding these items. Okay, so but we have a fairly and knowledge of how good air and nutrition reduced consumption illness such as TB. But mainly to cure this TB or when we are talking about this TB, so here what happened? So here we already have a good amount of knowledge regarding so what is the role of good air and nutrition which is helping because whenever this TB is attacking our respiratory tracts means what happened whenever we are taking polluted air means further it will deteriorate the health of our respiratory system. So in this context so we need to have a good and fresh air and we also need a good nutrition especially to treat this TB. So if we're talking about history and a perspective of TB, so it mainly says that earlier we used to have sanctorium, sanctora. So they are mainly set up in mountain terrain with a fresh air, pure water and good food, okay, to cure this TB. So I want to give you one live example. So even nearby our residence, 
uh, not residence is, is exactly so nearby our village so there is anantagiri hills so in this anantagiri hills there was a one sanctuary that is present especially to treat this tb okay so in history also we are mainly focusing that so we need good air we need good nutrition to treat this type of disease so that many sanctorum sanctora they were set up in the mountain terrain so where we can get plenty of fresh air and we can get pure water and as well as good food sources as well so there were no drugs for tb till the discovery of the streptomycin in 1943 so with improved wages and as well as better living standards and increasing of purchasing power of uh, people for the food then that led to decreasing of mortality of this tb down from 300 to 60 okay so there is decreasing of uh, deaths regarding this tb from 300 to 60 per 1 lakh people in england and wales so this is mainly done because of better living standards and as well as discovery of streptomycin it is one of important antibiotic used to treat this tb and tb mainly disappeared from socio economically developed countries long before the advent of chemotherapy so especially in these developed countries so there is a disappearance of the socio economically developed countries okay uh regarding this tb so tb which mainly disappeared in developed countries even before the advent of this chemotherapy so after second world war in 1946 so there was a report which mainly said that 92 percentage of reduction or reduction uh, reducing of incidence of this tb among british soldiers who were fed an additional red cross diet of 1000 calories plus 300 grams of protein when camp when we are comparing with that of russian soldiers who were fed only with the camp diet so whenever we are providing a good diet that led to the decreasing of incidence of tb so this is a one study which mainly published it mainly said that there is 92 percentage of reduction of cases of this tb and this historical importance of good nutrition which was ignored by the modern therapist so now when you are going to doctors they are mainly prescribing medicines and they will be giving you antibiotic therapy but they are not much emphasizing on our good nutrition so good nutrition which mainly ignored by this modern therapist and they mainly tried to control this tb with a uh, streptomycin isoniazid and as well as para amino salicylic acid so these are the first line drug for this tb and if you are talking about the treatment that which or which we are getting from the now modern therapist so it is not at all patient centric because more more drugs okay more drugs which are mainly used for treating of this uh, tb they include rifampicin ethambutal pyrazinamide etc they help to fight against this bacteria so we are mainly using this uh, drugs like rifampicin ethambutal and as well as pyrazinamide etc so when we are using this type of drugs that already this tb which mainly developed res- resistance okay so why it is not patient centric because for example if i am okay whatever the bacteria which is present in my body which is causing tb so whether it, i have to know whether it is uh, having drug resistance to this rifampicin ethambutal or pyrazinamide so whenever we are taking this uh, bacteria from our body and when we are going for culture and after culture whenever we are treating with the whatever the drugs which are present in the market to treat this antibiotic and after that culture so we need to know which drug which is mainly effectively working then only we can go for prescribing of antibiotics to that person so that will be patient specific so but in this normal therapy we are seeing so in the most of the cases uh, here modern therapies they will be going for a prescribing of streptomycin rifampicin ethambutal pyrazinamide etc without knowing whether tb it is mal- uh, drug resistant to that or not right so because of this we can see it is not patient centric so here we are having this multi drug regime which is mainly available in the blister pack so blister pack means nothing but the package of the tablets so you can see some aluminum foil like thing will be there that is the blister package so blister packs of multi drug regime were provided at door steps and here we are mainly using that drugs directly okay for the treatment or the therapy that is also called as dot therapy that is directly observed then therapy so this dot therapy it is very much famous for this tb tuberculosis so there was a little term which mainly tried to understand where patient lived and what work they did for living and how much they could offer to buy food and as less well as how much they ate okay so this thing which is not at all focused and many poor discontinued this blister package free drugs 
thinking that they are hot and strong drugs drugs not suited for the hunger pains as they experience in the every night so without taking food and if you are taking drugs means it will be having some negative impact even we can free, we can experience giddiness will be there and we will be uh, thinking like yes they are not at all acting okay so that what happened so on one side people are facing hunger and on side one side we are they are facing this tb and one side they have to take this medicines but because of this hunger nights hunger pains they can't take this medicines which are mainly prescribed by the doctor so here many year times here this therapist they do not know about the nutrition status of the people and they cuffed up virulent bacteria and that bacteria will be released into that surrounding such that whoever the people who are present behind that or behind that sort of patient Uh, they will be also getting or uh, infected with this bacteria so if we are talking about the nutritional risk and tb risk nut- nutritional status and this tb risk so the nutrition of the individual is the most vital factor that is very much helpful for the prevention of this tuberculosis disease so it is most unlikely that drugs alone or drugs supplemented by vaccination they can control tb in the underprivileged countries of the world along as their nutritional status has not been raised to a reasonable level and apart from that about 90% of indians they exposed to tb they remain dormant okay if their nutritional status and thereby immune system is good so if at all any person's immune system is good means if he is infected by this bacteria also so he will be in a dormant stage okay and when the infected person is immunocompromised that means no proper immunity means so this disease this tb which mainly manifests itself 10 percentage of the infected and india has around 2.8 million active cases and the disease which is mainly seen in poor okay so and the poor are three times less likely to go for the treatment and four times less likely to come complete their treatment for this tb because it is a long therapy it should be taken for 6 to 9 months of time so according to doctor he mainly said that under nutrition and tb they are syndemics okay so whenever we are taking adequate food adequate balanced diet means that will helpful like it will be acting as a vaccine against this tb so the vaccine is a polyvalent which mainly acting against many gastrointestinal and many respiratory tract infections okay so here because of this the nutrition is very very important so it is like a it is like a no side effect so if you are taking proper diet so even though if you are getting disease means you will be getting less amount of side effects it is also whenever we are focusing on nutrition it is also safe for the children pregnant and as well as lactating women so be focused on your diet right so this is about this topic and now let us try to see next topic it is regarding india to get record number of doctors in next 10 years so this article talking about so we are going to have enough number of doctors in next 10 years so regarding this uh, medical education so our prime minister he mainly made that so there is a need for increasing of this private medical colleges so this is one important statement which was given by our prime minister i think one or two months ago so we can talk about this topic again once again and this topic is important from your health point of view which mainly comes at the gs paper too so if you are talking about context it mainly says that prime minister said the country will get a record number of doctors in next 10 years in next 10 years country it is going to get a record number of doctors due to central government's policy of establishing at least one medical college in every district so our central government policy is to increase the number of medical colleges and the number should be at least one college should be set up in every district so if we are talking about details it mainly says that our prime minister was speaking after virtually inaugurating a super specialty hospital in kutch gujarat and in this context he mainly said that yes we are going to increase the number of uh, private medical colleges and even some government medical colleges so the goal of having at least one college okay one medical college in every district of the country such that whenever there is increasing of number of colleges means what happen the students they will be also getting this medical education will be increased and that will mainly ensure the medical education was the one of the far reach okay so what what was earlier earlier it was like a far reach for the middle class people and actually poor people so now whenever there is increasing of medical colleges means what happen everyone has the reach to this medical education in the india okay so because of this whenever there is increasing of number of medical colleges means 
that will also leads to increasing of number of uh, doctors that they are going to uh, come out of these colleges after 10 years after 10 years we are going to get a record number of doctors so this is the thing which mainly said by our prime minister he also said that two decades ago gujarat has just nine medical colleges and there are about 1100 mbbs seats they used to have in the state of gujarat and now it has improved drastically now in gujarat so we can have about 6000 admissions in this medical colleges so this is about this topic and now let us try to see next topic it is regarding e d a r so this is very important okay so e d a r it is nothing but digital uh, detailed accident reports so d a r it is detailed accident reports so this article is important regarding gs paper to under governance so now let us try to see this topic in a very great detail so if you see context it mainly says that a web portal so this web portal which mainly designed by government in consultation with insurance companies and what is the use of this web portal they will be providing they will be providing instant information on what instant information on road accidents with a few clicks and in this way this web portal will be very much helpful to accelerate accident compensation claims that will bringing some relief to the victim families so what is this web portal it is mainly uh, designed by the government in consultation with insurance companies so that that will be helpful for providing of instant information on road accidents with a few clicks and it will be also helpful to accelerate this compensation claims as well and it will be also bring helpful for bringing the relief uh, for the victims families so if you see some details it mainly says that the ministry of roads transport and highways developed a portal and it is called as e d a r that is e detailed accident report okay so these digitalized detailed accident reports will be uploaded for the portal for easy access and this web portal is also linked with integrated road accident database that is i r a d i r a d it is integrated road accident database and applications of more than 90 percentage of the data sets would be pushed directly into this dar e d a r and the stakeholders mainly includes police personnel road authorities hospitals etc and they require to enter very very minimal information for this e d a r forms here right and next one is the court in his detailed order which mainly recorded that this e d a r portal which would conduct multiple checks against the flakes uh, fake claims and it will be also helpful for sweep searching of vehicles who which are mainly involved in accident at the date of the accident first information report etc and the portal would be linked to other government portals like wahan as well so in this way we can easily get the information on driving licenses details and registration of the vehicles and for the benefit of investigation officers the portal would also provide even geo tagging of exact location or exact accident spot as well and this would also notify this investigating officer on his distance mainly from the spot of the incident and as well as even uh, the portal is accessed from this other location as well okay so what happened here this uh, this portal will be helpful for investigation officer and that will be helpful for even calculate the distance uh, from the spot of accident and next one is even this portal will also be accessed from any other location as well so here there will be details like photographs videos or accident spots damaged vehicles injured victims nurses i witnesses etc they would be uploaded immediately on the portal and apart from that it will be also helpful for identify this hot spots of accidents as well so if you are going on a road you can see this is accident prone area so please go safe like that so please go slow so how can we identify that if there are number of accidents are happening in that area then we can designate that area as a hot spot of accident so this portal is also helpful for identifying of hot spots for accidents okay and this will be helpful for obtaining some solutions to avoid accidents in these hot spots so this is about this topic and now let us try to see next topic title says india gets s400 training equipment so this article is important regarding your defense 
which mainly comes under your GS paper 3. So here you need to focus on this S400. So now let us try to see this topic. So actually we are going to get this S400 from Russia. So this thing is clear right. So actually now Russia Ukraine crisis is happening. So because of this US and as well as some European countries which are allied countries of US they impose the sanctions on Russia. And one important dimension here is so here this Russia which is mainly mainly banned from this fifth payment system and the second issue here is so there is some fear regarding this Katsa that means whenever India which is mainly importing this S400 from Russia so US on one side it can impose sanctions on India as well and now we are talking about this rope ruble trade so these are the some three important dimensions you need to know regarding this topic so actually what happened due to this Russia Ukraine war so there is delay in the delivery of second regiment of this S-400 missile system from Russia due to ongoing war of war in Ukraine. So due to ongoing war in Ukraine, so delivery of the second regiment of this S-400 missile system had been developed. So some training equipment and simulators they arrived in India. So this is the thing which mainly said. So if we are talking about some details, it mainly says that simulators and training equipment have arrived in India and the second operational unit is likely to be delayed by a few months so this is the thing which mainly said by defense sources and India took delivery of first S-400 regiment five of which were contracted from Russia under dollar 5.43 billion dollar deal which is mainly signed in October 2018 and the first unit has been deployed in Punjab and it is operational so this is the thing which mainly said by officials and there is some threat regarding this US Katsa imposition on India whenever we are getting this S-400 that is countering America's adversaries through sanction act and we are also focusing regarding the payment system like we can go for this Ropi Robel exchange as well so this is about this topic and now let's try to see some facts regarding this S-400 so this is our S-400 defense system so this S-400 Triumph it is a mobile and it is a surface to air missile system and this is mainly designed by Russia and it is one of the most dangerous operating operationally deployed modern range modern long range SAM that is surface to air missile system. So it is a long range surface to air missile system and actually it is also considered as much ahead of US developed TARD. So actually in 2018 there was one question which appeared in prelims regarding this third right and this system that can engage all types of aerial targets including aircrafts, unmanned aerial vehicles and ballistic and cruise missiles within a range of 400 kilometers and they can be used at an altitude up to 30 kilometers. So this is about this topic and now let us try to see next topic it is regarding work in progress India made warm vaccine. So here this article it is talking about warm vaccine and what is this warm vaccine that can be stored at a room temperature there is no need of storing in a cold storage system okay cold chain storage so this is about this topic in introduction so this article is important regarding your GS paper 300 science and technology now let us try to see this topic in a very great detail so if you see context it mainly says that a prospective vaccine against this SARS coronavirus that is COVID-19 which is mainly developed in India and the important significance of this vaccine is there is no need to store this vaccine in refrigerator or any cold chain storage right so whenever we are taking this vaccine it can generate significant number of antibodies in the mouse trails at present it is in trails so in this trails after giving this uh, drug or after giving this uh, vaccine then antibodies are released in the body in a sufficient amount so this is the thing which mainly said in this study so the warm vaccine developed by Bangalore based mine wax private limited and a company okay it is a company which is mainly incubated at an Indian Institute of Science Bangalore and it is mainly coming up with some unique vaccine 
uh, for this COVID-19, it can be stay, stored at 37 degrees centigrade, right? And most other vaccines which are available in the market, they need to be stored in refrigerators. Especially some vaccines, they need to be stored in extreme cold temperature. Now, this vaccine will be having some advantage, right? For the countries which are not having proper cold chain system or cold storage system. The existing vaccines have been developed on the template of the Wuhan strain and this vaccine will be also acting on different strains like Delta variant, Omicron variant, Alpha variant like that. And now let us try to see next topic it is regarding Bihar seeks UNESCO tag for cyclopene wall. So here you need to know about what is this cyclopene wall and where it is located. It is mainly located in this Rajgir. So we need to know about some facts regarding this Rajgir as well. So this topic it is at most important from your prelims. So here you have to do some research regarding what is this UNESCO's tag. What is this UNESCO's tag. So this will be important from your prelims. So please do some research regarding this UNESCO tag and let me know some details regarding this UNESCO tag in comment box. So this topic is important regarding your art and culture. So if you are talking about context, it mainly says that Bihar government has sent a fresh proposal to Archaeological Survey of India to get the 40 kilometers long cyclopene wall, a more than 2500 years old structure at Rajgir. So actually this cyclopene wall, it is a Bihar's government. A Bihar's government came up with a fresh proposal for this Archaeological Survey of India to get uh, to get this UNESCO tag for this okay for this cyclopene wall because it is like 2500 years old structure at Rajgir so it may it was mainly built before this third century BC to protect ancient city of Rajgir uh, from invaders so we're talking about some facts regarding this Rajgir it is an ancient city in the northeastern Indian state of Bihar and it mainly surrounded by hills so it is also well known for holy sites as well and the remains of this cyclopene wall which encircled the city centuries ago and it is mainly close by Venuana Park okay Venuana Park is present here and it is once a home for the monastery okay monastery built for the Buddha and we can also see Chinese, uh, Japanese temples also seen here and here nearby this uh, Rajgir we can see hot springs are present and they will be having some medicinal properties as well. As you all know it is also called as lion capital okay because the uh, Sarna okay because the Ashoka pillar which is mainly located in this uh, area and Ashoka pillar sometimes called as Ashoka column it is still in its original location but the lion capital is now in Sarnath museum in the state of UP. So these are some important facts regarding this topic. And now let us try to see yesterday's question. The first one is regarding Aladdin Kilji. Okay, Aladdin Kilji maintained a large permanent standing army and paid them in cash. Yes, he maintained large permanent standing army and he also paid in cash. First statement is correct. And next one is regulations were issued to fix price of all commodities popularly called as market reforms. He also came with market reforms. Yes. And he was the first Sultan of Delhi who ordered for the measurement of land. Yes. So here you need to identify correct statements. So 1, 2, 3. All these 3 are correct. So answer is all the above. And next question it is regarding Vijayanagara Empire. So Nayaka and Ayagar systems of local administration under this Vijayanagara Empire were the backbone of Vijayanagara power. Consider the following statements regarding this Nayaka and Ayagar. So, Aigars are military chiefs, but Aigars are not at all military chiefs. They were village functionaries who were given a portion of or plot in village. And this one is Nayakars. So, Nayakars, they are military chiefs. So, the statements are interchanged here. So, correct option will be neither one or one nor two. So, here we need to identify correct statements. So, these two are wrong statements. And now, let us try to see today's questions. So, first one is regarding teachings of Shankaracharya. Okay, so Shankaracharya advocated Advaita. He preached Upanishad doctrine of salvation through knowledge. So read these two statements and give me the correct option. And next one it is regarding monotheistic uh, movement. Okay, so monotheistic movement. So there are three statements which are given here. So try to read these three statements and give me the correct option. So these are the today's questions. 
So before seeing today's newspaper PDF, I want to make a small announcement. So we came up with Maine's answer writing practice course. Okay, and this course is very important and useful for improving of answer writing skills, even if you are a beginner and as well as even if you have already started the preparation. So this course is absolutely beneficial. So please try to join this course and the registrations of this course it is going to end by tomorrow evening. So if you want to join, so please hurry up. So by Sunday evening by 8 o'clock, the registrations will be closed. And in this course, we will be giving you micro listing of topics and detailed uh, study plan for one year. And we will be giving you daily one question and Sunday there will be like essay or case study. There will be evaluation of your answer, one to one mentorship. So all these will be included in this course and the price is also very much affordable. It is like 7,200 rupees for one year. So if you have any inquiries regarding this course, please call us on this number 8074765513. And we are also ready to launch this pen drive course for entire foundation course of 2023. And this will be also very, very useful. So please contact us on this number for this queries, for any queries. And even you can ping me on this number in WhatsApp as well. And now let us try to see today's Hindu newspaper PDF. Yes, this is our today's Hindu. Date is April 16th, 2022 and this is Delhi edition. So this is Saturday, April 16th and this is Delhi edition. So I discussed uh, regarding this warm COVID-19 vaccine and it mainly gives hope in this animal trials and next article it is regarding sri lanka assistance so sri lanka will not ignore poor while seeking imf assistance so sri lanka's economic recovery which is mainly dependent on the reforms which mainly undertaken with this imf support so whenever you want to get the loans from this imf so we need to follow the reforms that are mainly suggested by this IMF. So in the same way India when we went for this IMF for the help during 1990s, so we also undertaken this uh, privatization, globalization, okay, LPG reforms, liberalization, privatization, and as well as globalization. So in the same way here if, uh, if Sri Lanka we just mainly want to get some help from this IMF means it need to take some reforms with the help of this IMF and Sri Lanka's economic recovery will be dependent on this reform which it is going to undertake. Right, so this is about this topic and if you move forward, so if you see this image, it is mainly talking about Russia attack on Ukraine. So the remains of a house that uh, residents say it was destroyed by the Russian shelling in Ukraine's Ukraine issue. Okay, in this Ukraine, what happened because of attack of Russia, it led to this demolition of this house. So this is the thing which mainly said by that house owners and if you move forward, leave the city page. Okay, and here today is Hanuman Jayanti. So I wish you a very happy Hanuman Jayanti for all of you. And this article is talking about this Sri Lanka. So once, what are the reforms it is going to take and once we get clarity means we are going to discuss that topic separately. And I discussed about this TB article. And here this article which is mainly talking about Dal Lake. So already number of times we discussed about this uh, Dal Lake. So here this is the location of this Dal Lake. So you have to refer some facts regarding this Dal Lake, right? And if you move forward, so I discussed about this topic regarding the doctors in future. And this is one important article, it is regarding extremism. So extremism it is one of the important challenges that we are facing. So one important cause for this extremism is joblessness. So whenever people, they are not, uh, students, they are not getting proper job means that will mainly lead into the feeling of this extremism, which is a thing which mainly said. And I discussed regarding this DAR portal and I discussed about this S400 training system. And next one is in Egypt to import wheat from India. So Egypt it is one of the world's biggest importers of wheat. So already we discussed that due to this Russia-Ukraine issue, we are going to see there will be increasing of our food grains to other countries. So one country that is going to import our wheat here is Egypt. Right? And if you move forward, I discussed about this warm vaccine. And there is one article like as COVID cases rises in North India, experts urge caution. So still COVID is not at all ended. So please try to take some precautions whenever you're going out. And I discussed this cyclopean wall. And there is one article that is Russia strikes missile unit outside the cave. You can read that. And there is article like Nepal which is running low on forex exchange reserve. I discussed this topic I think day before yesterday. You can refer that. At that lecture 
and next article is china reduces reserve norms for banks as economy slows so in china also because of increasing of this covid 19 cases recently that also led to decreasing of slowing uh, decreasing or slowing of economy of china so because of this it also reduces the reserve norms for the banks and these are the some important articles that appear in this today's newspaper i hope you enjoyed this lecture please subscribe to rathor's is academy and don't forget to like share and comment my videos and if you have any queries regarding this classes and as well as if you want to join any courses so that is mainly offered by rathor's is you can call on this number 8074765513 and this is our whatsapp number also so if you have any queries regarding this mains answer writing practice and the registration is going to close by today even by tomorrow evening so please try to ensure that you are joining this courses that will be absolutely beneficial so by this i'm concluding thank you so much